Hi guys, welcome to Citrus Eventus. My name is Kaden. This video is a part of 30 days pledge that I started 10 days back. So today I'm going to talk about how you should be planning your next 20 days uh, for your CAD or rather how you should get ready for your D-Day. Now, this is the third video in a day. I published two videos. One was about the uh, pro, you know profit and loss challenge level. So do check that out. It has got some really awesome questions. It can help you to actually build your profit and loss very well. Another video that I talked about, it was basically on the mock strategy, so kind of you know, go ahead and check that out as well. Now, coming to my 20 days plan. The golden rule for the next 20 days is not to follow anybody else's plan. Now, what happens when you are 20 days away from CAD, you feel kind of worried, you know, you are a little nervous and you will keep on asking people, kya kare, kaise kare, kya karna hai, kaun sa topic karna hai, stop doing that. Number one, I see a lot of mentors, I see a lot of websites, I see a lot of tuitions, coaching institutions giving students, you know, free may daily task, karo, ye karo, wo karo. stop doing all that stuff, that is not going to help you out, that's for sure. Because if you are planning somebody else's plan, or if you're working on somebody else's plan for the next 20 days, then trust me, I don't want to say that, I, I don't know how good you are prepared for it, right? So this is what I believe strongly, and that's the reason in my video, I'm going to give you a different strategy altogether. Number one. Do not follow somebody else's daily task or do not follow somebody else's daily schedule. You know, my cousin did this and you know, my, my, my brother or let's say my closest friend is doing this. So I'm also going to follow the same plan. Don't do that. Your plan should be built by yourself. And I'm just going to help you to give you an idea that how your plan should be so that it helps you because it helped me at my toppers also. Now, number one, you have to focus more on your strong areas. Even before that, you have to have your own schedule. Fine. Now there are a lot of things that go around with this schedule. You might be confused that should I do quants on a daily basis or should I do quants, LR, DI, verbal, whatever like all that stuff, right? This is the major problem. Again, you are somebody who can decide this in a very good way. You should know what is good for you. So let's say, <coughs> excuse me, let's say if you are somebody who has been studying very well and everything is under control, then that's awesome. I advise go piece by piece so you can do for some hour dilr for some hours you can do quads for some hours you can do verbal if you have that stability of mind then you are in a good situation then you can take anything in quads i don't have to tell you that you do xyz topic take anything and start doing it now if you're somebody who is not really confident and if you know when you take dilr verbal haunts you you take verbal if quant is haunting you in that case i will advise you have a different strategy and this works very well what's going to be the different strategy for you all. Number one, if you are not able to have the stability, right? If you always get confused, karna kya hai? I'll advise you, take one day and knock off. Because now, for the next 20 days, your main focus and the only focus should be score optimization. As simple as that. Now, when I say score optimization, I mean to say that, how can you convert maximum question into your strong area? As simple as that. So, here, if you keep on doing everything, if you keep on giving weightage to everything, that might not gonna help you. Because by now you should be understood that you know what, this is what I know and with this only I'm gonna go for my cat. I am not gonna have anything at all. So from my side, learning anything new, adding anything new to your kitty is a big no. You should not be doing that. Jitna aata hai us pe chalo, you will be able to do it. Again, it is not necessary that everybody should be completing 100% portion for cat. That's the biggest myth. So let's not try to do that. If you are 60-70% done with the entire portion, you can still crack 99 for 99 and you can still make it to I am the bar. And it's a very logical and practical thing that I'm telling you. Because 100 questions are not going to be attempted by anybody. Nobody is going to attempt 100 questions to be very honest. Now that's number one. Number two, when you get more choices, you get more confused. So if you are attempting quant, you know everything, you know algebra, you know arithmetic, you know geometry, you know log, you know trigono, you know cells and indices, you got time, you know circles, you know geometry, everything. You're going to be more confused, ki, yaar, which one I should be picking up first. On the other hand, I have a student who is like, you know what, my choices are very much narrow. I know algebra, I know arithmetic, I know log and I know trigo. This is where I'm going to play. Still that person can manage 30 questions. As simple as that. And if you knock off like around about 17, 18 questions with 100% accuracy, you are 99% error plus. As simple as that. So let's not have any daily tasks. Now, I advise take one stuff in a day, knock it off. Let's say you started at 10 o'clock in the morning or 9 o'clock in the morning, right? You decided today I'm only going to focus on verbal ability. I'm going to do para I'm going to do audible now, I'm going to do para summary, I'm going to do para completion. Whatever time that you have, like morning 9 to let's say evening 6, knock off everything. 
knock off everything. Look at the advantage. Next day, you are ready to write a mock. So you spent one day, you spent around about 8 to 10 hours studying all the verbal ability. Next day, you are ready to do 10 questions in the mock. Right? So that's what I am actually looking at. So for the next 20 days, I as a student, I would certainly love to look at the trade-off. That if I am giving my time to XYZ section, how much I am going to be you know, able to manage. So let's say somebody is there. Arithmetic, right? Uh, you can do arithmetic in a day. You can do profit and loss, interest, percentages, ratio and proportion. All four of them, all four of them, they are in the same category. Calculation oriented. Starting the morning till the night, you're done and dusted. Next day, you can do 10 to 12 questions are Ramsey. Another thing, there is something called as link. So when you start with arithmetic in the morning, it has a great link because you've done profit and loss, you've done average uh, proportion, you've done interest, you've done percentages. For the fact everything is connected, it gives you a great link. On the other side, if I am doing one day profit and loss, one day ratio proportion, one day interest, that link is now been broken. And that's the reason you will not be studying effectively or efficiently when you are 20 days away from CAT. Huh. Let's say you are 2 months away from CAT, then you can do one day arithmetic, one day algebra, all that stuff. Now you cannot. Let's talk about verbal ability. If somebody starts in the morning, let's see if you are my student, right? We've got these 14 rules. I can guarantee you that anybody who knows these 14 rules can knock off any parageable in the cat, to be very honest. So you learn those, you've understood them, you've kind of you know, gone through them, and then you did parageable. If you do parageable very well, it kind of complements you for odd one out. Yes or no? Parageable 4 questions, odd one out 3 questions, you are 7 questions down. That's a great thing, right? On the other hand side, if there is somebody who has done, uh, let's say, you know, a couple of uh, you know, sessions with me, wherein I have told you, you know, para summary, by the way, para summary and para completion also has rules. If you have done that, it is also going to help you to cover para, uh, para summary and para completion. Both of them have mostly similar rules, right? So this is what I recommend to you all to have your schedule. So, if you are good, you can go step by step, let's say quant kara, verbal kara, whatever. If you feel that, but again, you know, I'm, I'm not kind of in favor of this strategy. I would say that, take one thing, knock it out. Now, the problem is that, how do you revise? So, today, if you have done everything which is verbal, next day, if you want to pick up DILR, the first thing that you should do in the morning, guys, the first thing that you should do in the morning is, whatever notes that you have made, you have to read them up. You have to read them up. There is no alternative. There is no alternative. So when you start next day morning, give yourself half an hour, read all the notes that, that gives you more retention. At the end of the day, before you go to the bed, again, read all the notes of your VARC, whatever it may. I can guarantee you, you will never forget even a sentence of it. Because more and more you go through, the retention goes up. That's the best thing. Third day. On the third day, give yourself half an hour. You can start reading about DILR and VRC. I can revise. See, focus on one thing. Even if you are not able to do something new, that's still okay. Try not to do something new. But just make sure that whatever you have done, you know it, you preserve that knowledge and you have a good retention. You are there in the game. As simple as that. Fine. So that's the thing that I want to tell you. One day, one section, knock it off. Right? And get ready for your mocks and whatever stuff like that. Now, my genuine advice, if you have slot 1, if on a 24th, you want to write slot 1, you will have to study in those 3 hours. So you will have to kind of you know, train your body and train your brain to be seated for those 3 hours. You've got to be there for 3 hours. If it's slot 1, study in slot 1. If you're in slot 2, study in slot 2, right? Then you have to kind of you know, get your schedule accordingly done. If you're a slot 1 guy, you have to sleep early, get up early, by like around about 7, right? This, this is what you need to do. Now, what most of the people do not do, that's the biggest mistake. I did that, my toppers did that, amazing efforts, amazing results. Now, whenever you go for these 3 hours, right? What people do, if you're in slot 1, you'll study in the morning. For the, all 3 hours, people study only one topic. Quants here to quants, DIR to DIR, VRC to VRC. Don't do that. At least for those 3 hours in a day, if I start my session at 9 o'clock, okay, 9 o'clock, 9 to 10, 9 to 10, I will be doing VARC only. Then do anything that you want to do. Open your laptop, open your desktop. Just read, read and read. Let's say 10 to 11, what you're going to do is, you will be only doing DIR. Don't solve anything, just read through, just understand. And 11 to 12, what you're going to do? You're going to do quants. Because your D-Day is exactly same. Your brain has to get trained 
फॉर दैट नाइन टू टेन वाला जो स्लॉट है रीडिंग हैबिट यू हैव टू डेवलप टेन टू इलेवन कैलकुलेशन यू हैव टू डेवलप and 11 to 12 which is the, the end lot of people will get lazy and kind of demotivated 11 to 12 you have to train your brain right from now to be active same is applicable for slot 2 wala bachcha log right so this is what i want you guys to do so this is the way i want you to schedule yourself this is the way i want you guys to revise focus more on your strong areas try to build your strong areas even stronger do not focus more on your weakness that's not going to help you anything that you are not able to do just leave them but anything that you feel that you know this is the basic thing that i should be i should be able to do like trigo let's say you know logarithm should do them something to do with para summary para completion easy ones should do them uh dia and our coding decoding type of questions uh sitting arrangement these are the basic ones we all can do them you should do them so on a daily basis this is should be this should be your entire focus so now the benefit is that for those three hours you are doing everything vrc dir and quants also once those three hours are done go take a chill have fun come back after one one and a half hour and then start with the schedule that i have told you but right now you should be looking at knocking off and again as i said don't go for somebody else's uh, you know schedule or do not follow somebody else's given task all that stuff that's not going to help you i have seen lot of people they discuss with their friends they discuss with their uh, you know whatever mentors and they say that you know my mentor told me so i'm going to do that so even today i'm not giving you any plan at such i'm just giving you a direction which i think is going to be really really fruitful for all of you because this is proven this has actually given lot of you know results to my students and that's the reason i'm recommending this to everybody so that you guys are ready for your dda so guys that's it from my side i'll be making couple of more videos on verbal quant dir uh, touching everything there are going to be really fantastic videos are lined up for you all for the next 2 3 4 days so if you have not subscribed do subscribe to my channel please show some love uh, like it share it subscribe to